Lille is the capital of the Haute de France region in northern France, near the border with Belgium. A central hub and bustling university city today, it was once an important merchant center of French Flanders, and many Flemish influences still remain. The historic center, Vieux Lille, is characterized by 17th century brick townhouses, Baroque buildings with delicately gabled roofs, cobbled pedestrian streets, and a large central square, the Grand Place. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Lille, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is the Grand Place. Lille's expansive main square is the place where locals and tourists converge to meet up or see the sights. In the medieval ages, this square was used as the main market for wheat. Today, the area is used for celebrations, ceremonies, and Christmas markets. Grand buildings in the Belgian style surround the plaza, and the focal point of the square is the monument depicting DSA, the goddess particularly associated with Lille. Number 9 is Villa Carvoy. Located in the Lille suburb of Croy, the mansion was designed by architect Robert Mallet Stevens for industrialist Paul Cavroy and was completed in 1932. Visitors can see the amazing restoration work that allowed rooms to be returned to their original state, fitted with furniture, lighting, and artworks that have been accurately reproduced. Fine craftsmanship, modernist ideals, and luxurious taste make this 1930s Art Deco masterpiece a fascinating place to visit. At number 8 is Lille Zoo. The zoo's 3.5 hectares is located in the large park and woodland of the famous Citadel. The zoo is pretty compact, but has 450 animals from over 70 species and takes part in international conservation programs for endangered animals. The enclosures are all large and natural looking, and there are seven areas in all, most organized geographically. So in Les Terres d'Afrique are zebras and rhinos, while the American zone has alpacas and tarpiers. Number seven is La Pacine Musée. Located in Robay, a suburb of Lille, this Art Deco municipal swimming pool was built between 1927 and 1932. It is now an innovative museum, showcasing fine arts, such as paintings, sculptures, and drawings, and applied arts including furniture, textiles, and fashion. It's a fabulous building, which has been imaginatively restored, and a must-see for anyone interested in art. At number 6 is Lille Cathedral. Construction on Lille's neoclassical cathedral began in 1854, but its western facade, built from white marble, wasn't completed until 1999. The cathedral has eight chapels in the neo-Gothic style, featuring scenes from the lives of Christ, the Virgin, and the Saints. There's also a towering organ and a great deal of 20th century stained glass, including an asymmetric rose window. Number 5 is Vauban Gardens. Vauban Gardens is a public park that was established in 1863 and is home to over 20,000 species of flora and fauna. There are gently sloping lawns dotted with pools, a grotto with a waterfall, centuries-old trees, and beds of flowers, all contributing to the garden's varied charm. The park is adorned with statues of predominant Frenchmen and Lille natives, and also features a marionette playhouse for children. At number four is the Fine Arts Museum of Lille. Located in a 19th century building in Place de la République in Lille, the Museum of Fine Arts is the second biggest fine arts museum in France in terms of the number of exhibits on display. Among its prestigious collections are Middle Ages and Romanesque art, European paintings, including Rubens and Goya, and French paintings and sculptures from the 19th century. All year round, the Museum of Fine Arts offers a very extensive program of cultural events, activities, exhibitions, and workshops for all ages. Number three is the Citadel. Renowned 17th century French architect Vauban designed this massive, star-shaped fortress after France captured Lille in 1667. Made of some 60 million bricks, the fortifications are considered some of the best and most beautiful in France. The Citadel of Lille was classed as a historical monument in 1934, and as it is still actively occupied, it can only be visited on guided tours organized by the tourism office. However, visitors can walk around the outside of the fortifications. At number two, is the Hospice Comtesse Museum. The Musée de la Hospice Comtesse is the town museum of Lille. It's housed in an old hospital founded by Jeanne, Countess of Flanders, for the poor of the city in 1237. The collection features 17th and 18th century art, woodwork, ceramics, tapestries, and musical instruments. But being the town museum, it also focuses on the history of Lille, particularly its revolutionary history and the story of the hospital and the monks that ran it. And at number one is the Town Hall and Belfry. 
Built between 1924 and 1932, Lille's City Hall is topped by a slender, 104-meter-high belfry that was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A mixture of Art Deco and Flemish, the Lille Belfry is topped with a light that can be seen from more than 30 kilometers away. There are 400 steps to get to the top, or visitors can use the lift, but the panoramic view is worth it. The City Hall Belfry is one of the most recognizable architectural symbols in Lille, and the highest in the entire region. So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Lille. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.